Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to go over how to save and recall user-defined views. So if you go to the View Manage Views panel, within this panel, you can actually save and then recall a view. I'm going to zoom in towards the root of the blade, and let's go ahead and save this view so that we can recall it at any point in the meshing process. So with the radio button here on number one, I can click save and it'll go ahead and save that view. I can name this, we'll name it root. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the tip of the blade. I'm gonna zoom over here towards the tip and I want to save this view. So I'm gonna click on the radio button next to view number two and click save and we'll name this tip, all right? Now I can quickly cycle between these by clicking these buttons here, one and two, will allow me to cycle between these two saved views. I have some hotkeys to get to any of the principal views so I can zip around my mesh, but I can always get back to my saved views. I can also get back to them from the toolbar. You'll notice that I have user view and it says root. It's using the name that I've specified as the tool tip. And user view number two is the tip. And I again, I can quickly cycle between those two views from the toolbar as well. If I want to remove a view, I just click on that radio button and click clear. So I'll go ahead and clear the root view. We'll save that and then click OK. And then I have no saved views. Now, another way that you can save views is by using hotkeys. So Alt and a number will save a view and then Control and that number will recall that view. So if I want to save this view, I can use Alt 1 and I've just saved that view. If you look in the messages window, window, it says stored user view number one. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here towards the tip and save that view. So Alt 2 will save that view. And you'll notice now that up here in the toolbar, I have two user defined views that I can recall. I can click on those. So clicking on number one will bring me towards the root of the blade. And then clicking on number two, it'll zoom towards the tip of the blade. And again, I can recall these using the hotkey control and then a number. So control one will bring me to user view number one and control two will bring me to user view number two. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.